When people think of Indiana, they usually think of cornfields and race cars. But some people, they think about beautiful places like our Indiana State Parks. Have you ever been to Fort Harrison State Park, Turkey Run, Brown County? Before Hoosiers made Indiana the place we know today, it was a place of natural diversity, a diversity of plants and animals which still thrive in Indiana's state park system. Indiana is a very big state that has very different natural regions. All the way at the northwestern tip of the state is a natural region defined by Lake Michigan. Indiana Dunes State Park has a sandy beach, big dunes of sand with wetlands in between them, and plenty of forests. This park is unique because it has plants that are found all the way in the Arctic, as well as cactus that are found in the desert. It is a fascinating and beautiful place, and one that is hard to imagine existing in Indiana. As we make our way south, we come across the flat area that Indiana is known for the prairie. This area was flattened by the glaciers during the Ice Age. These glaciers left behind a substrate of acidic silt and sand which led to a unique yet beautiful combination of plants and animals. Much of this land has been altered to create farmland. Have you been to Prophetstown State Park to see the beautiful tall grass prairie? Or have you been to Obachi State Park where you can see a small herd of bison. These bison are reminiscent of Obachi's time as a game preserve. Historically, bison, our official national mammal, would have roamed these great prairie areas. This small herd, as well as Prophetstown's tall grass prairie, helps to provide us with a snapshot of this diverse habitat. Our last stop, down in southern Indiana, hundreds of miles away from Indiana Dunes State Park, is a different natural region defined by its caves. Have you ever been to Spring Mill State Park or Wyandotte Cave in O'Bannon Woods State Park? Caves have a diversity of animals that spend their whole lives without ever seeing the sun. The Hoosier Cavefish is the top predator in the caves, swimming around looking for aquatic bugs to eat. Caves are also important to several species of bats that spend the winter hibernating in them. Indiana, from an outsider's perspective, seems like a flat area with little to offer when it comes to biological diversity. But once you peel back the layers and take a journey around the state to our wonderful Indiana State Parks, you'll find a whole world of unique habitats with a plethora of amazing plants and animals. You'll likely make a few memories along the way, at least we think so. We can't wait to see you at one of our Indiana State Parks.